lead attorney here. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Listen, listen, how are y'all doing? It is a Sunday, the Lord's Day. The Lord's Day is technically Saturday. Listen, oh, struggle streaming already. I scared myself with the struggle. <laughs> I scared myself. How are y'all doing, man? Listen, y'all know I'm old. Y'all know I like the long stroke. I need to concentrate. I'm 45. You know, it, it's not like it was back in the day. You know, I really need to think about it. <laughs> All right, but this one's going to be a quickie. All right, I don't I don't normally do the quickies, but this one's just going to be it's it's going to be informative. It's going to be good. But you know, I usually like to put that damn form on you, but this one I'm I'm going to let you live. I'm going to let you live on this one. All right. This is actually a great show. Shout out to um Daryl C. Daryl C recommended this to me and there was I've got two in the tank. There's this judge out in uh, Texas, and you guys have been sending me this stuff, and there's two that I've already screen recorded and was going to cover, but I haven't. And so, guys, I really wasn't even planning on going live today. This is actually my last live for a while. <laughs> I'm saying sayonara to you guys. Like, I, I don't know when I'm going to be back. I'll probably be back at the end of the month, something like that early February. But so um, I need to take some time off. <laughs> but um, when Daryl sent me this, I was just going through it and uh, just scrubbing through it. But this is valuable for, you, for me to go through with you guys. So you can see how a 20-year divorce attorney looks at these things. You can see some of the games that are played in child support to try to get the most money. So I could do a review on this and and you know maybe make a little light out of it, but actually it's very it's very informative. And I've been doing you know some collaborations and people have been saying that um men don't fight for custody. Men don't want their kids. Why don't men fight for their custody? Why don't men fight for their kids? Right? Because people look at some random statistics. They look at these numbers. They don't know what they're looking at because they don't have the experience. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the training. They're just looking at random numbers on a website. So I am going to show you through this video, through this, we're looking, we're going to look at a court hearing of a real child support case. Let's, let me pull it up. Um, you see, we got the judge right there on the top left. We right next to the judge on the top in the middle is the mother's attorney through the, with the state really. It's kind of like the state's attorney. It's not her attorney. And then that mother, woo, shout out. Shout out to our black women, boy. Y'all see her right there, Jasmine Chastain. And then who do we have at the bottom? <laughs> who do we, the bottom of the bottle, who do we have? Young black male, an officer of the law, just trying to, to see his kid, right? Now you would think, you would think that a man working for the government, a man working as a police officer in the state of Texas of all places would not have to deal with any child support BS, right? <laughs> he wouldn't have to deal with, he's a cop. He's part of law enforcement. He's part of the government. We're going to see. Um, but thank you, uh, thank you, Daryl C for uh, <laughs> for recommending this, and I'm gonna go through it with you. Shout out to everybody who's bought the course. Thank you, the YouTube course. I still I'm, I'm eliminating y'all. Like, oh, what about these Christmas uh, 
uh discount the christmas discount codes are at the bottom i'm getting rid of them after this it's not christmas anymore guys i see y'all taking advantage all right this will be the last day that the christmas discount codes are available the youtube course is the i've got two courses number one on teachable i just took a course on podcasting the damn thing was two hours long it was two thousand dollars it, it was not good it was like what two three hours long for two thousand dollars, I didn't pay two thousand dollars, but that's the original price. Fine. My course is it is it two hours long? Is it three hours long? Damn thing, eighteen hours long. Oh yeah, I put the whole thing in your mouth. Eighteen hours long. That's just for the beginners course. In the second course, and in the beginners course, yeah. If y'all want to see how much I make, just click the link. Y'all can see how much money uh, a YouTuber makes. I don't hide it from you. Super transparent. You decide if this is right for you. In the second course, I tell you some things that I learned from Jose Zuniga. He has over 5 million subs. Tell you some things that I learned from Kevin Samuels. We all know Kevin. Uh, I'm really giving you the game. Things that you are not going to find with uh, Daryl Eves or, or, or Nick Nimmin or all these other people. Vanessa Lau. I'm giving you the real behind-the-scenes game. All right? If you thought about becoming a YouTuber, you want to invest in yourself 2023, Never a bad time to start than in the, the beginning of the year. All right. So um, let's get right into it, guys. Again, I'm not going to long stroke you guys. Um, we got a mastermind thing tonight at 830. So I need to be out of here by eight o'clock. So I really want to show you guys how the child support system works, how people play, how people take advantage, how people game the system. You would think again. Oh, he's rich. He doesn't have to worry about child support. What did that black lady? What was her name? Queen Regina said in the in the in the richest county in the United States, Bower County. I don't know where it was that no man has custody issues. No man has child support issues because it's the richest it's the richest county in the, in the nation. Right, rich men don't have to deal with 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 uh, custody issues. Police officers. Don't have to deal with custody issues. Attorneys. <laughs> Attorneys. We don't have to deal with custody issues. If you're a man in this country, preparate. <laughs> Get ready. Your profession ain't going to save you. Not necessarily. Your money ain't going to save you. Not necessarily. All right? These uh these these women will get it. What these beautiful women? Shout out to uh what's her name? Shout out to Jasmine. <laughs> Shout out to Jasmine Chastain. If you know, you know, right? Shout out to the beautiful Jasmine, our young brother right there. Ooh, you know when it was good. That's his baby mama. Of course, you know they ain't married. Shout out to the police officer getting young Jasmine. Oh, the brother down there. He thought he thought he hit a lick. He was like, oh, look at her lead. She treat me so good, lead. Boy, it's so good. Sometimes I just want to shoot up the club. Lee. Oh, shoot it up. Go on, shoot it up. <laughs> Go on and shoot it up. I know she's fine. Go on and shoot it up. There is nothing more dangerous in this world than a beautiful woman. What does Will say? That Jasmine Chastain Google search, though. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Speaking of beautiful women, who we got? We got the beautiful Nancy Knack. Thank you so much, Nancy Knack, for the $10 super sticker. Nancy is beautiful as well as her daughter. Shout out to Nancy Knack and her beautiful daughter. Oh, my God. Look who we got. Raven. Shout out to Raven Cuervo. No te he visto en tanto tiempo, mija. Que unos cinco, seis, siete meses. Y ni tus luces, ¿dónde andabas? ¿Cómo estás? Shout out to Raven. I ain't seen you in a minute, girl. Shout out to CNG. We got CNG in the house. Says, man, listen, I almost missed this ish. I'm smoking and chilling on the smoker. Man, I want my man CNG to open up that restaurant. Stop messing around. Let us eat. Let the big dogs eat. All right. Shout out to Trad Guy Travel. Says, has that play button plaque always been in the back? Congratulations, you're all. <laughs> he said I'm almost at one million. So I wish. Let me tell you something. I don't ever want to come off looking narcissistic. 
I don't ever want to come off looking ungrateful. We need to be appreciative of what we have. I'm good, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I should have a million subs, <laughs> but I don't. I'm patient. I'm patient. One day, maybe. One day, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I need to be more hardcore. I need to be more ruthless. What did, what did Jasmine teach us? This is the wrong Jasmine, but you know what Jasmine told us. We got to be ruthless. But thank you so much, uh, Trad Guy. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Nandy. Shout out to Nandy with the Cell 99. Thank you so, so much, Nandy. Really appreciate it. Get a few more of these and we're going to get into it, guys. Shout out to the beautiful Dottie Girl. Dottie Girl be holding your boy up. Daddy girl be in the chat throwing bows for the lead, man. She was in my locals last night. Man, we were, we started at midnight. We started at midnight, 1230, something like that. Daddy girl blessing your boy. Shout out to Daddy girl. Oh, look who we got. We got Thomas Walker. Y'all know Thomas, man. Thomas was here from the beginning. It was me, Gail, Thomas. And four other niggas talking about child support. It, that's I was. It was. It was seven of us. Y'all don't remember, man. How many people in here? There's seven hundred people in here. I remember when there were seven. Seven, right? Shout out to the beautiful Felicia Holskins. Oh, we got the fine women up in here. We got Andre. Shout out to Andre. Says I got scales. Air well. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, let's get into it. Because again, I ain't going to stroke y'all on. This is going to be a little quickie. I know y'all don't. I know y'all like the long stroke. I know y'all don't like the quickies, but let's get into it. So what do we have here? We've got the judge at the top left. We've got our man, this uh, this young police officer doing the best that he can. He is in child support court. That Jasmine Chastain, man, y'all think y'all coming up with these beautiful women, but what do they do to you, right? Uh, we're going to see. We're going to see. So I am going to give you, this is going to be very good, guys. I, I'm going to give you the perspective of a 20-year divorce attorney, a 20-year trial litigator walking through this. I'm, we're going to listen to this together. I haven't listened to the whole thing. And... I'm going to tell you what I think while we go through this. So this is going to be a good play by play. This is going to be interesting. Let's go. During that time. is it OK, so the now we, we starting off right. We starting off right at, at the bottom. The bottom uh, left, the brother that's speaking is Richard Cole, the third. That's a lineage right there. This is the police officer's attorney. Right. This is the police officer's attorney. This the police officer did a very smart thing and got an attorney. Some of y'all are like, oh, you don't need an attorney. All right. This brother went and lawyered up. Super, super important. All right. Let's go. The fact that Mr. Mr. Cost paid paid the rent for it for the residents. Yes. You didn't contribute to the household at all, did you? I paid for groceries and everything else that needed to be done for our son. But Mr. 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 Cos paid the rent, right? Yes, he paid for rent. Is it also true? Is it also true that he he paid for your insurance, car insurance? Yes. And there were direct payments of maybe upwards of twelve hundred or more dollars. I don't know how much. I don't have that information. But there were. There were direct payments made to you. Listen, let's just stop it right there. Let's just stop it right there. What is the lawyer saying? Because what this lady's going to come at, this, this lady's going to come back and say, he didn't pay any child support. Oh, he didn't pay any child support. Right? But what is his lawyer getting, getting out right now? Did he make any payments at all? Yes. How much did he pay? Well, he paid my rent. How much was that? Oh, I don't know. How you a grown woman don't even know how much the rent is? I say that. I was married. <laughs> I was married for 10 years. My ex-wife didn't work. She didn't know what the mortgage was. Women, they don't. Do they care? Guys, if you were in the house paying these mortgage payments, paying these rent payments, 1500 2000 
2,500, 3,000. If it ain't coming out their check, do they even care? Right? He says, your man was paying the, the rent, right? Yeah, he was paying the rent. Was he paying your insurance? Yeah, he was paying my insurance. How much was the insurance? Oh, I don't know. I'm just a grown woman. I don't know what my insurance was. And this is an officer, guys. This is not like some CEO. This is a police officer out in Texas, right? Guys, when we get a fine one on our arm, boy, we want to, oh, we want to buy them everything. We want to buy them everything to the extent that they don't even know what everything costs. But then they turn around and say, we didn't pay any child support. <laughs> Let's go. Let's, let's we starting off on the right foot. Correct. Direct payments towards the apartment? No, to you, where he would no. zail you. He, he never zailed you any money? Sent you money he by zail? Me, he zailed me some money, but it wasn't $1,200. I don't know what, what you're talking about $1,200 for. Okay. So he paid your car note. I'm, I'm sorry, your insurance. He paid the rent where you were living, and he he sent, he sent made some direct payments through Zelle to you in some amount, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the listen, listen. She fine. Like, baby, no, 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 baby. Listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna pay the rent, baby. Your your Geico, oh, Geico, please. I got the Geico. And where my phone at, baby? Where my phone? Let me let me send you some, let me send you some cash through the Zell, right? <sighs> Now, that's his woman. She's pregnant and has the baby. Uh, if, is it really simping if she's knocked up? Is it simping if, if she's got your kid? You're paying the rents and her the Geico and sending her money through the Zelle, right? But what? Are they appreciative? That's the question. When you're paying all of this money, money that they don't even know how much it is, they don't know how much anything costs, will it be remembered into the future? You paid the August payment. You don't have that money anymore. You paid the August rent. It's gone out of your check, gone and out of your account. Will that August rental payment be remembered? Did you pay September? Yes. Will it be remembered? Did you pay October? Yes. November? Yes. December? Did you pay the December rent? Yes. Will it be remembered, chingada madre? <laughs> it will not be. Not when you're here. Oh, not when you're here. Right? Did, did, did he make some Zelle payments to you? No. He didn't make any Zelle payments? Oh, yeah, he did. You probably got the receipt. Yeah, he did. Guys, I see this every day. Let's go. A couple and, dollars here and there. Okay. A couple dollars here and there. <laughs> We're starting off on the right foot. How much did he pay? 300 five, a couple dollars here and there. Come on, guys. This is how they do you when they light skin. <laughs> and weren't there... Uh, numerous instances where he asked you to uh, be able to contribute to the to the child's well-being, and you denied him that opportunity. Correct? No, that's not never, correct. He never asked me to contribute to my son's well-being when I was paying for everything that he needed. My entire family has supported him since he was born. His family has not. He never. He never offered to pay. Uh, and look at his face. Look at look at the officer's face. Look at John's face. John is like, what? You're going to sit right up here and lie? Look at, watch John's expression. Needed. My entire family has supported him since he was born. His family has not. He never he never offered to pay, uh, to buy diapers and, and, and no. texted you about no. asking you what your son needed? No, because... My family su uh, supplied all those diapers and wipes um, when he was born. So we were good for at least those three months. Now, you, you testified earlier that Mr. Cost. Uh, Who believes that? Who believes that? 
the attorney says, wait a minute. He never offered to pay to get diapers for you. He never offered to get wipes for you. She said, no, because my family supplied all of that uh, when the child was born. So we were good for three months. <laughs> Do we have any women in the chat? Are there any women in the chat? Are there any women in the chat who've, who's had an infant? Even if you got diapers, are you turning down more diapers? <laughs> even if you got wipes, are you turning down more wipes? Does it even make sense that she says, no, 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 my family bought all that on the day that the child was born. We were good for three months. It doesn't make sense. Like if you listen with that good ear, it doesn't even make sense. She might as well say she hadn't told a lie in eight years. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. How the hell are you turning down wipes and diapers and you got a three butt though? It, let's, 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 man, come on. Oh, I see this stuff every day. Was, uh, you felt un, unsafe uh, with him being around your son. Now, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Now, you, you testified earlier that Mr. Cost uh, was, uh, you felt un, unsafe uh, with him being around your son. Now, during the time that, Two different times you lived with him. Uh, weren't there, wasn't he? I got to stop right here. Guys, I want to let this rock, but I got to stop right here. <clears throat> this is what women will go to immediately. Immediately against you. They will say that they feel unsafe. Right? Did you threaten them? Did you slap them? Pull their hair? Slap the phone out of their hand? Did you push them? Did you touch them? But they just felt it. And I just, I feel a little unsafe. What's the irony in this? The irony is that the dude is a cop. <laughs> I mean, and you see, it's not like he, he did something and got fired. He's sitting there with his dang uniform on. He is actively employed as a police officer. When you feel threatened, you call him. But now when his kid is involved, his own child, now she feels threatened. All right, let's go. He a caretaker, a caregiver also? He barely watched him. I, I, there was days that I didn't even sleep. What? That I was taking care of my son. Did, so, did, you, did you ever leave Mr. Koss alone with your with you guys, son? Yes, um, several times he would, you know, when he's uh, the baby is like two, three months, he can't really move. So uh, if I needed to take a shower, he would play the video game while the baby's in um, a rocker. So you never left Mr. Koss at home with with you with uh, Jace? Not. You went to the grocery store or for uh, shopping? Not for, or... Not for a whole day. What's he doing? Does anybody know what he's doing? Can anybody explain to me this line of questioning? Why is he asking if the mom? This is gonna, I'm gonna quiz you guys. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little quiz to see how you see how your your law game is. Why is he asking the mother if she ever left him? left the child with the father when she was taking a shower, left the child when, with the father when she went to the store. Does anybody know why? Does anybody know why? Um, let me see. Uh, Big says it's a, it's a setup. Uh, Chat Ninja said it's a setup. Terry got it. Shout out to Terry. Uh, nope, Terry didn't get it. Um, shout out to Wrath. Wrath, Wrath Ghost got it. Wrath Ghost, no, Wrath Ghost. I gotta read all of y'all stuff. I just can't read half of it. Mm. Shout out to D. Claytonius. D. Claytonius got it. Some of y'all are saying she, he's setting her up. No, he's already set her. It's already done. That's the setup. D. Claytonius said you wouldn't do that if you didn't feel 
safe. Shout out to D. Clay Tonius. He got it. This is how, and this is why it's so helpful to have an attorney. You would not think of these questions necessarily, especially when you know this girl lying. You're going to want to get up in court and say, she's lying, she's lying, she's lying. Your attorney passed that. Your attorney's already playing chess. Your attorney don't care about the lies. Your attorney knows how to, to combat those lies. You're saying that you felt threatened. Yeah, I felt so threatened. Did you leave him alone with the child when you were taking a shower? Well, yeah, it wasn't a lot of time. You felt threatened. Yeah, I felt threatened. Did you leave him alone with the child when you went to the grocery store? Yeah, but it was right down the street. If you felt like he was such a threat, you wouldn't leave your fucking two month. <laughs> you wouldn't leave your two month old with him. Right. That's that's how we I mean, guys, we do this every day because we catch you guys lying on the stand. I know that you're going to lie five years before I get into your trial. I have been dealing with your lies, man. Right before I retired, you would you would you would you would get on the these these not you. Right. Shout out to the women. You would get in these hearings and lie. And I already knew that you were going to lie 20 years ago in the past. I was already preparing 20 years ago to learn how to address your lies today in 2020, 2021, 2022. The attorney, this is an older attorney. He looks like he's in his uh, 50s or 60s. He's heard all this shit before. So that's why he's setting her up, right? Let's go. But for several hours though, right? For a couple hours, yes. On, on numerous occasions, correct? Yes. So why is it that you feel unsafe that uh, with Mr. Koss being around your son, not wanting him to take uh, Jace away when you left him alone with him, with the same circumstances? The, the start of me feeling unsafe was when I moved back in with him um, back in January. I started to feel him being manipulative, him asking me to sign a contract uh, that would say he would pay me $500 a month instead of doing child support. Also, that is, wait, that is, that is child support. Imagine, imagine you have a child with a woman. The child is two months old. You say, listen, baby, we don't need to get the court involved in our stuff. We're grown. I'm going to just write out this contract. It's going to bind me to pay you $500 a month. You say, you're, you're offering to pay me $500 a month? Yes, I'm offering to pay you $500 a month for the child. I feel threatened. I feel threatened. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm trying to pay your ass $500 for this two-month-old, and you're talking about you feel threatened. Boy, <laughs> shout out to these women. It's a, it's a cold world. And all you guys come up to me talking some shit about, I want to leave a legacy lead. <laughs> right? Get with these. <laughs> I ain't even going to say it. The lead is a colorist. I'm not even going to say it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, him threatening me for three days to kick me out instead of trying to work something out as adults. So we both could financially take care of our son on good terms instead of this whole situation that is now occurring now. Do you think and it's important for um, a child to have interaction with both parents? It's very important. But he also, he also wasn't thinking about that once he kicked us out. Objection, objection non-responsive. Uh, now, you, 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 you kept your uh, Jace away from his And father. imagine this. What is she saying? What is she saying? This is so, guys, guys, let me just, I can break all this stuff down. What did she say? Oh, he kicked me and my child out. He kicked me and my child out. Does anybody, first of all, she said that she moved back in. So she, he allowed her to move back in, right? He allowed her to move back in. It was his place. He's paying the mortgage, you're a grown woman. You said you wanted to resolve this as grown people. You're grown. Why does he have to move you in and pay all of your mortgage if you're so grown? Right? He says, oh, he kicked me and my child out. You know who I bet he didn't kick out? 
Do you know who I bet he did not kick out? He didn't kick out his child. He kicked your ass out. You weren't paying anything. You're freeloading. But now you're grabbing the child. Oh, he kicked us out. No, he kicked your ass out. He didn't kick his child out, but you took the child. And now you're in court talking about he he kicked us out on these cold streets. Oh, my God. Let's go. Um, for months at a time. Isn't that correct? Only like two months at the most. <laughs> two months. How, how would you feel if you were I missed it. that once he kicked us out? Objection, objection non-responsive. Sustained. Uh, now you, 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 you kept your, uh, Jace away from his father, um, for months at a time. Isn't that correct? Only like two months at the most. <laughs> two months. How, how would you feel if you were deprived of seeing your son for two months? I would not feel great. You wouldn't like that, would you? No. Isn't the fact that you were so uncooperative that Mr. Koss had to seek assistance from the police to see his son. Isn't that, isn't that correct? That was the time he came. Yes or no. Yes or no. And let me stop it right here, guys. <laughs> he said the, 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 the day, the, the, uh, the attorney, attorney's doing a great job. The attorney's like, listen, did you keep Jace, the child from the father for months? <clears throat> the, the woman says, uh no, only two months. Didn't we hear that the kid is like three months old? <laughs> I kept the child away from his father 66.66 percent of his life. Right? And then the attorney flips it. It's like, well, if he kept the child away from you for, for two months, how would you feel about it? Oh, I wouldn't feel good. And it stops. It's never that she never takes that one extra step. Oh, if he if he kept my child away from me, I'd be going crazy. And the attorney's like, and she's like, I just go crazy. <laughs> it's never that one, y'all know that one extra step, right? Like you kept the child away from him. Yes. And if he were to keep the child away from you, that would be right. That would be bad, right? Yes. So no, it's never, it's just, that's it. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. It's, it's never that one extra, they, they will never take that step. They will never take that step. Let's go. Is that correct? Yes, he came unannounced. On how many times, on how many occasions did he have to uh, uh, seek assistance from the police? Once. Now, uh, did you allow him to see the, uh, his son at that point? No, because he came unannounced. He he did not t attempt to text you on numerous occasions. Uh, that morning, he did not call or text, so he came unannounced to a property that he's not allowed on. You you didn't you he didn't know you didn't know he was coming. No, I did not know. Isn't the, isn't the bottom line that you you're angry that you guys are no longer together? And that's why you uh, keeping your his son away from him. No, I am feeling unsafe around him. Oh, first of all, John, don't tell me you got another one, John. How many light-skinned women are you trying to get? <laughs> I know the attorney ain't say, wait a minute. Aren't you keeping John away from his kid because he's moved on? And she's like, no. I feel unsafe. Ah! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I feel unsafe. He's a cop. He is a cop who called other cops to make sure that everything was cool when he tried to see his own child. I feel unsafe. Boy, you, oh my God. <laughs> Shout out to Big Tail, boy. Let's go. He's manipulative. Okay. Pass this witness, Judge. You're a witness, Miss Overstreet. Who do you currently work for? Now, this is the state's attorney. Now, the mother is able to hire her own attorney. Do you think she did that? I mean, let's take a step for a second. The state has given the mom an attorney. Did the state give the father an attorney? 
the state has allowed the mom to have legal representation for free. Does the state allow the father to have legal representation for free? It's so, and then I was sitting up there with Dan the Unicorn and Peter Pan, and they were talking about how the system is fair. <laughs> Who saw fucking wrestling sit up here talking about, oh, I, I just think, I don't, is the system fair? I don't know. I asked them that specifically. I asked him specifically, do you think the system is fair? He sat right there, looked straight in the camera and said, I don't know. I don't know. And this happens every day. I don't feel safe. Why not? He's got a new girl and I don't know her. Oh. Guys, this is so ridiculous. Before we do that, y'all been blessing your boy, man. Let me get a few more of these super chats, man. Shout out to our big Elvis, the chef Rosenberg. Thank you so much. The big Elvis really appreciate that pimp. Shout out to Phillip. We got my man Phillips Adik in here. No comment, no question, just the pure love of the game. And shout out to John. Sometimes when I'm sitting there with you guys, I know this lady's lying. The judge know this lady lying. And you know, you know that your baby mama lying. John, let me tell you something. Y'all haven't noticed this. John has been very, very composed. She'll tell a lie and John's like, but that's it. I love it if you do guys do that. The problem is I'm cross-examining, I'm listening, and she'll tell a lie. You'll be like, Lee, that's not right. i be like, all right. Lee, she lied. I, I know she's like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Let me work. I know she's lying. John hasn't said a peep. John, shout out to John, man. John is a soldier, right? Shout out to John. So I would definitely want to say that, man. It's hard for you guys. It's so hard for you guys to sit up there in court and let a woman lie on y'all, man. Y'all be trying to get it all. Y'all, y'all got some stuff on your chest and you trying to get it all. John just like, mm, he do the eyes. He like, oh, okay. This is what we doing, right? Shout out to the beautiful Ann Allen. What does the beautiful Ann Allen say? Selective memory. <laughs> Ask her three times and she will remember. Absolutely, absolutely. Shout out to the Russian, right? Uh, shout out to X2F42. Thank you so, so much. She says, appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Super, super generous of you. Guys, y'all y'all better get ready for Acts 2 and 42. Uh, excellent content creator about to get it, about to explode on the scene. Um, super excited for him and the content that he is going to put out. So Acts 2 and 42, really, really thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Really appreciate that, brother. Super generous of you. In fact, I have some more super chats, but let me... Uh, let me, whenever y'all bless me like this, let me, let me, I like to just go right back to the day and content, man. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let, let, let's get back for a second. Let's see what we got. Mr. Department. And um, let's go back. Your a attorney, bit. Has, because he's manipulative. Okay. Pass this witness, Judge. You're a witness, Miss Overstreet. Who do you currently work for? Houston Police Department. And um, Houston your Police Department had sent over some. Um, uh, some pay, paycheck stubs. Yes, um, and um, Your Honor, at this time, I'd like to ask the court to um, enter into evidence um, the uh, paycheck stubs. Uh, I think what's the title of what's the title of the document, Miss Overstreet? Uh, let me find it. I think it says. Um, okay, let's pocket watch. Let's see how much a police officer makes statement? in Houston. Okay. No objection. Yes, it, it does. It says pay statement. Is this the document you're asking me to review? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Castine, Ms. Castine, the state is asking me to look at the um, wage information that's been provided by Mr. Koss. Is it okay if I look at this information? Yes. State's Exhibit A? B. State's Exhibit B is admitted in evidence. <laughs> Your Honor, and um, the very last paycheck on there shows his year to date. And if there's no objection, I have um, actually 
looked at all this and calculated. And I, if there's no objection, I'd just like to do a summary of the evidence of what it says. No objection. Does she, does Miss Miss Chastain, do you have any objection? It's, no. She's it's she's calculated right. she's calculated the child support, Miss Castain, based on some information from the wage information that Mr. Cost has provided. She's Miss Overstreet is asking if it's okay if she summarizes those calculations <coughs> to me. No objection. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Thank you again, Thank Acts two forty two. His year to date gross was thirty one thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars and seven cents as of May twenty second of this year. Um, his monthly average is $6,394.01. The cost of um, insurance for the child is $227.70. Um, the cost, oh shoot, it just shut down. On wait, me. wait, um, how much is he making? Let's go back. The cost of dental uh, monthly average is $6,394.01. Okay, $6,000. For $6,400. That's $6,400 a month. All right. All right. Shout out to John. The cost of um, insurance for the child is $227.70. Um, the cost, oh shoot, it just shut down on me. Um, the he, cost of dental. He's making $6,400 a month. Um, however much that is a year. Added into that um, is a total cost from insurance and dental is two hundred fifty one twenty eight. <laughs> His union dues a month are approximately seventy dollars and eighty nine cents. Union. His net resources um, after taxes withheld of twelve ninety three fifteen is six thousand three hundred ninety four dollars and four cents. Um, so the calculated um, guideline amount of child support was $955 and 74 cents a month. $954. All right. That's how they, that's how much they want from our man. About 950. I think you should pay about 950. Shout out to path guy 74 says, thank you TLA for your expertise and input on this case. Very insightful. Happy New Year, by the way, everyone. Yes, salute to Path Guy, right? So our guy makes about uh, 6000 a month, and they want about a grand from him, all right? Because that's 6400 That's gross, guys. That's gross. So you got to net it out. So it's going to be like five-something, and then they want about a rack, right? Thank you so much, Path Guy 74. Shout out to Marriage Causes Divorces. It says, welcome to fatherhood in 2023. Begging judges. Oh, please, judge. Don't do me like that now, judge. Come on now. Don't do me like that now. <laughs> you know, I love my kid, judge. <laughs> oh, my God. Shout out. We got a different shade of purple as a member. Thank you so much for joining the jurors. We got a new jury member. Thank you so much. A different shade of purple. We got our man Wrench Turner in the house. Wrench Turner says she has a lot of hafizery going on when she speaks. I felt threatened though. Why won't, why won't Hafiz talk to the lead attorney? He feels threatened. Oh! <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Why won't people talk to me? <laughs> oh, I mean, put a one in the chat if you think Hafiz, you know, we could have a conversation. Y'all know I would treat my man right, right? He says he wants to help black men. Lord knows I want to help black men. That's why we're doing this stream right now. Put a one in the chat if you think me and Hafiz, me and Hafiz should chop it up, right? He's, he, he only wants to talk to pearly things. Why does he only want to talk to the 26-year-old white girl, right? Never been married, no kids. She's never been inside of a damn courtroom. Don't know nothing about no damn child support. Don't know nothing about no marriage, but he wants to talk to her. Adam is like, hey, uh, do you want to talk to the lead? Just for everything, it's like, hey, I'm bringing the lead. No, the, the lead is not allowed. Why not? Right? Why not? I feel threatened. Oh, come on now. Shout out to Rich Turner. Thank you so, so much, Rich Turner. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Boy, it's so hard to get answers out of people these days. All right. 
we're gonna get a uh a couple more shout out to the beautiful Ann Allen with the fives and the tens. Y'all know the Russian, the beautiful Ariel. What does N. Allen say? Those types are his. Ac- oh, <laughs> guys, listen. <laughs> I am not a colorist. I need to look in the camera. I am not a colorist. All right. <laughs> Don't ask me what my last girlfriend looked like. Uh, shout out to Ed Allen. Shout out to Gregory Nichols. Thank you so, so much, Gregory Gregory Nicholson. Let me put some damn respect on your name. You know I can't see. Thank you so much, Gregory Nicholson. Let me get a couple more. Shout out to Phoenix Sun. Says, shout out to you, lead attorney. I start my second semester in law school tomorrow. Oh, man, tomorrow. Shout out to Phoenix Sun going in. Well, congratulations on surviving your first year. First year is always the hardest year. So they say the first year, they they scare you to death. Second year, they work you to death. Third year, they bore you to death. All right. So if you got out your first year, you made it, pimp. So congratulations to Phoenix Sun. Going to be an attorney. All right. Oh, look who we got. Look who we got. We got our man, Steven Taylor. I'm at the bottom of the bottom. God damn. We got our man Steven Taylor in the house giving the dang chat the bottom of the bottle. Guys, I always say the person who gives the biggest uh, super chat is the sponsor. And our man Steven Taylor is sponsoring this stream that you guys are watching. Everybody, please put Steven in the dang chat for me. Everybody write Steven in the chat. Let me take a second right here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much much steven shout out to steven um thank you thank you thank you that did not last long shout out to renoir oh (laughs) man you know renoir coming in but but you stepping on your man steven who remembers (laughs) oh man what was it the grammy awards in the 90s when uh who was it when Pac was singing and then uh, Suge Knight just bum rushed the stage. Who I don't remember how it was, man. God damn. Let me shout out my man Steven for a second real while before you come in and take the damn title. Thank you so, so much, though, Steven, man. Super, super generous of your boy. I really appreciate that, guys. You know, I know I'm up here and I'll talk about damn Lizzo or some bullshit like this. But if I'm honest, this is where my heart really is. Right? This, explaining this type of stuff. But this type of stuff is not what gets the views. If I do a thing on Young Thugger, there'll be 7,000 people in here, right? And, and to be honest, I'm surprised there's 2,000 of y'all in here, to be honest. I mean, real talk. So the fact that y'all supporting your boy like this, man, I cannot tell you, especially with this type of content, because this is my bag right here. You know, if you want to ask me how to go on dates and dating coaches, I ain't got nothing for you, man. I know about these marriages and divorces and these kids. I can't tell you what to do to get a date. Look, I'm single, so <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't tell, don't, don't, don't get me the line, right? Um, but just thank you so much, Steven. Super, super generous to you for supporting me and supporting the stream like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Steven. Let me put my man Steven up in here for a second before I have to uh, put my man Renoir, right? Let me let me do this for a second. Let me give our man Steven some some uh, some airtime, man. Really, really appreciate you. Let me put you down here as the sponsor of the stream. I know we got Renoir coming up. Shout out to AV. God damn. AV, bless your boy, with $500 the last time. AV, man, you know, I want to talk bad about these light-skinned ones, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sometimes I'll be like, man, I mean, I can have one kid. (laughs) Oh, my God, boy. Women, I mean, is there anything more powerful? I mean, let's be honest, guys. All the wars that have been fought, you know, on on, whatever. Don't even get me to talk. Thank you so much, Steven. Let's let's, let's go for a second. Let's see what we got going on, man. All right, let's go. Some dental. Yes, and the union dues as and well. Union dues. How much was the number again? Nine fifty-five seventy-four. 
965 or 955? 55. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> so they, there's one child and they want $955. Like the, the the kid, what is he like three months old? But whatever, let's go. Any other summaries, Miss Overstreet? No, Your Honor. I, I had um, been able to send that to Mr. Cole, and I believe that he agreed. Miss Overstreet, that Mr. Koss is on the witness stand. Do you have okay. any questions for Mr. Koss? Um, yes, I do. Uh, Mr. Koss, how long have you worked for the um, Houston Police Department? I believe about a year and seven months. Okay. And um, has your salary been about the same the, the entire time you worked there? No, ma'am. Uh, when I started the, the initial, what's it, six, seven, eight, nine months, uh, the salary is $1,200. And then once you get off probation, then it goes up to $1,600. That's uh, biweekly. Okay. Um, and during that time frame, would your union dues have been a little less? Are they based on your salary or is it just the same? Uh, I believe it's the same. So it's the same for the first six months out of the nine that I said, it is, it doesn't start. There are no union fees. And they're talking about unions. I don't know nothing about a union, but shout out to Gail, my number one moderator and the number one moderator on YouTube lets me know that we got a big dog in the house. We got Anton Daniels in the house, man. Shout out to Anton. I'm going to drop the link. I don't know if our brother wants to come up or not, but I'm going to drop the link for our brother anyway. This is only, this is only for Anton. All right. But let me pin it to the top. Uh, shout out to my man, Anton Daniels, tearing it up. All right. Uh, let's, let's, let's keep it going for a second. Let's, let's get back to it. So they talking about how much money he's making because, you know, they want to hit them pockets. After that, uh, actually, I believe on month, I'm sorry, the first four, the first four months, because it's while you're in the academy, and then on month five, the union fees start, and then on to five to nine, the union fees are the same. Okay. Now, um, was your son on, on the insurance during that time, or have, is he on the insurance yet? No, ma'am. So, uh, he's not on the insurance yet at the date of enrollment, uh, when I tried to get the information to place him on the insurance, uh, she, Jasmine, would not respond so I could place him onto the insurance. Okay. So I was told that we would be able to do that now. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I have nothing further of um, Mr. Koss. That's the witness. Your witness, Mr. Cole. Thank you, Judge. Uh, Mr. Koss, you heard Ms. Castain's uh, testimony uh, describing you as careless uh, with your weapons is that was that an accurate uh depiction of your 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 behavior around your son no sir not at all oh my god let uh, me stop right there i think we missed that part <clears throat> this woman has the unmitigated gall to say that this police officer is careless with his guns around the child that he's been trying to see do you see what I'm talking about, guys? And look at her face. I wish I could zoom in. Look at this lady's face. Look at her expression. I wish I could make it bigger. Like, there's no remorse for the lies. Like, this man has been fighting since day one to see his child. And now he she's turning around saying that he's careless with the weapon that he's been trained. I could see if he was untrained. But he's in Texas of all places. There are five-year-olds and six-year-olds with pink 22s out there in Texas. Everybody shoots guns. Some guy just killed a, 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 a robber in, in a taqueria in Texas. I would never rob a business in Texas. You're going to get shot. Every the whole, the whole culture is guns. This guy is in Texas and is a police officer. Oh, uh, I felt threatened. And... Uh, 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 he leaves his weapon unattended, loaded with bullets around the three month old. Our three month old, <laughs> like, right? I mean, there's no limit. There's no limit to the stuff that these people will say. Let's go. Castain, uh, testimony, uh, describing you as careless uh, with your weapons. Is that, was that an accurate uh, depiction of your, your, your behavior around your son? No, sir, not at all. Uh, all of my weapons are 
cared and managed in the way that I've been taught, uh, in a way that is, is no hazard, no danger to a child. Uh, I will say that what she's discussing is the weapon was in a case, in a locked case against the wall. Jace was drawn to it in his walker. Once he was drawn to it, I moved the weapon to a secure location. Right. But it was in a locked uh, setting. Absolutely. No ammunition near it, in it, uh, even in the house. The ammunition was kept in my vehicle. <laughs> now, during, during the t two, two different times, two occasions that you and Miss Castain lived together, um, did you uh, support your son? Um, did you support your son? Yes, sir. You, and did, did you pay the rent where he was residing? Yes, sir, I did. And you also uh, have given, you paid for Miss um, Castain's car insurance? Shout out to Correct. Forever Fresh. Maybe about nine payments or so? Yes, sir. Um, there was payments of insurance. There was cash on hand that she was able to use and access at any time um, if she needed it, if Jason needed things while I was at work as well. Uh, about how much do you think you gave her in um, uh, direct payments through Zelle or whatever other means you may have used? Yeah, anywhere ranging between 800 to 1200 somewhere Jesus. in there. In addition to the other things you mentioned. Yes, sir. Correct. Jesus. I, sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I did also, and there is text messages to back this, have asked on many occasions whether she needed additional money, whether it was diapers, whether it was whatever he needed to just request those things from me. And and what would what was her response? There was no response. Uh and many times I had to fight just to get the address for her to send so I could send Jace's clothing. I purchased him clothing and diapers at one point. I asked for uh, maybe days before she would actually give me the address. She told me to use my cop means to find it, which is illegal. She told oh, me imagine. Wait, 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 wait. Imagine <laughs> you have a three-month-old, a five-month-old. And then the mom just moves and won't tell you where your child is. And then when you do get a hold of, you say, "Where's your? What's your address? I'm trying to send some wipes. I'm trying to send some diapers. Oh, you're a cop. You figure it out." <laughs> you figure it out. I got a son in this world, and you're telling me to figure it out. How would you like it if I took our son and told you to figure it out? I wouldn't like it at all. I just wouldn't like it. Oh, yeah. They never take that extra step, right? Shout out to N Scarlet. Thank you, N Scarlet. Says watching this has me going through PTSD. Facts. Facts. Um so many millions of men have gone through this. Let me tell you something. This woman already, I can just tell, this woman already has told 10 lies. Is she going to get in trouble for any of them? Is she going to get in trouble for any of them? Right? I felt unsafe and threatened. Why? Because he was trying to manipulate me. You felt threatened because he was trying to, yeah, I felt threatened. Why? Because he was trying to pay me money and send me diapers and baby wipes. I was threatened. I felt unsafe, Your Honor. Oh! And look at her. Look at her face. Look at, look at, look at, look at her, look at her jawline. Look at that beautiful hair. Look at the neck. Oh, you know when 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 John, you know when John was was hitting that right, man. Shout out to John. You know, he was like, oh, it's gonna be so worth it when I draw. You know, it'd be so good sometimes. It's so good sometimes. You know, she's acting right. Y'all are getting along. You all up in it. And she, you know, I bet this girl ain't worn a goddamn bonnet in her life. Now, she probably got that damn head scarf. Y'all don't know where with the head scarf, but the bonnet, look at her. Right? She don't know nothing about no damn bonnet. Oh, your boy John thought he had hit a lick. But how did it work out? All right, guys, we you never know it's a risk, man. And in Scarlet says, I know all about it. <laughs> guys, we all go through it. We all go through it. Now, all is too strong a word. There are there are guys who, of course, that don't go through it. But it was probably more than not, though. I mean, it's 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 a stretch to even call it a 50-50 shot. 
So thank you so much, uh, and Scarlett, for supporting your boy, man. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. We got Ben up in the house says, uh, uh, what was your biggest red flag that you ignored before getting? I, I ignored her personality. I didn't know about that stuff when I got married. I was like, how old was I when I got married? 28, something like that. I just didn't know. I was like 29. I just didn't know. I didn't know what I knew now. If there was a lead attorney when I was coming up, it would have saved me. Looking back, it's clearly we were not compatible. Clearly. But, you know, shout out to them. Uh, shout out to them. Um, John, like, look at this girl. What did, what did my wife look like? <laughs> right? Y'all already know how tall she was. <laughs> I mean, that off rip, that off rip was like, you know, the size six feet, little cute little feet, hair down to her damn shoulders, uh, small waist, just thick athletic thighs. She was an athlete. We used to play tennis. We used to play doubles all the time. Had rhythm like a mug. We danced together. She was my salsa partner for like 10 years. Every Y'all think I'm lying. We would get off that dance floor and people would clap. Guys, it's so difficult. For, you would think that I don't even know how to dance now. She ruined me. Let me tell you a little bit about salsa dancing for a second. Um, I'm the man. I'm the lead. So if I dance with you, I have to tell you what to do. I, like I can let you shine and you'll do your little shines and you know, you'll make those up. Anything else, I'm telling you what to do through my movements, through my hands. When you watch two people salsa dance, the woman is not thinking about what she's doing. The guy is telling her in every second what to do unless he pushes her away and lets her shine, right? Other than that, the men are controlling. What happens, guys, when you dance with a certain partner for so long and, and don't dance with anybody else, she learns my moves. And so with a regular woman, I will have to, I will have to do this if I want her to spin. But with my wife, I just have to do this. You said I'm saying you see the difference. So with my wife, I'll just do this, and she'll she'll hit them damn spins. I'll just do this because she knows. But then I'll go to a club and I'll dance with a regular woman, and I'll do this. She she was like, "What is that?" I'd be like, "Bitch, you can't you dance." She'd be like, "Can't you lead?" I was like, "Oh, I'm ruined." Because our chemistry was so great. Anyway, small waist, thick thighs, man. Of course. She had these almond eyes. Like they call them like, I don't know. It's just like, it's just. <sighs> like, I didn't know. She was young too, man. She was young. She was about to down 22, 23. What did Kevin Samuels? This is way before Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels told us to get them when they're young. But I wasn't ready. I didn't know. I should have waited. If I would have waited till I was like 32, 33, I might have been able to call it better. But man, we got, we got the damn rhythm. Oh my God. Don't even get me the damn reminiscing. So shout out to Ben, man. Yeah, I, I took an L on that one. Shout out to Dove Will says, got to be careful with the red bones. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Blue Baggins. Y'all know Blue Baggins. Says uh, Hafiz at home, rubbing his hands, staring at the lead life, talking about put some spec on my name. I wish. I wish. Listen, the floor is always open. I dropped the link for Anton. I don't even know if he's still around. Uh, but shout out to Blue Baggins. Thank you so much, Pimp. Always supporting your boy. Blue Baggins has supported whole streams. Shout out to Jonah. Thank you so much, Jonah. Jonah says, I'm a family. Okay, a family lawyer in Toronto. I thought this was in Texas. So we got a family lawyer up here in Toronto. Says, this is a great stream. Always interesting to see how things are done in another jurisdiction. This is so true. Everything can be a little bit different, especially between countries, because he's in Canada. I don't know how they do things up there. Says, there are only three guarantees in life. Death, Taxes and child support, right? Shout out to Joda. Shout out to co-counsel in the house. Thank you so, so much, co-counsel. All right. Really, really appreciate that. Let's get two more. We got Ash in the house, a new member. Thank you so, so much, Ash. Thank you. Oh, and look who we got. Look who we got. Oh, not the bottom of the bottom. Yeah, I am. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God. Shout out to the powerful Renoir. Another, another police officer, man. We see our we see our brother. Uh let me move it so we can see. We see our brother down here, police officer Renoir, always doing night duty, keeping the streets safe for people like you and me. Because Lord knows I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Renoir be out there putting his life on the line. Thank you so, so much, Renoir. Number one, for serving this community, man, doing a job that very few of us, if we're honest, very few of us would do. Uh, but also as well for becoming the new stream sponsor. Everybody put Renoir in the chat, please. I got to look to see how to spell it. That's some French stuff right there. Shout out to Renoir. Man, thank you so, so much. Thank you. R-E-N-O-I-R. Thank you, Ren Wah, the new stream sponsor. Let me put him up here and thank you again as well to our man, Stephen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stephen Taylor. Let me put uh, let me put Ren Wah up in here. But thank you, Stephen, as well for having supported the stream. Uh, thank you, Ren Wah. Let me put my man, Ren Wah. Renoir be calling in at one o'clock in the morning, man. He be on the beat, keeping the streets safe. Uh, I can't even spell it. R I P A N. Yeah. Where are you from with that name? Are you from? I know I asked you. Oh, are you from? Uh, you might be down there in Louisiana or something. You got some French stuff going on. Shout out to our man Renoir. Thank you, and thank y'all for shouting out Renoir, man. Huge supporter of the stream. Uh, <laughs> Erica said, Medici, <laughs> Medici, Renoir, Medici, right? Shout out to Renoir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, India, man, marriage causes divorces. Y'all be remembering, y'all be remembering. He's Indian. He does not look Indian. He is yoked. <laughs> when is the last time you've seen a jacked Indian? That is true. Like, you would not think. He's like the only one I've ever seen, just a yoked Indian. Shout out to Real Y. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man. Real Y, you had it. <laughs> I believe I believe you should have here, Real Y, for a second. I believe it. Y'all know these dang Sigmas, man. Man, th- let me tell you something. This this channel is owned. We, we, it is owned, first of all. And I didn't even plan it like this. Y'all know it's owned by the AKAs. <laughs> And that, 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 that just happens, I didn't even plan it this way. All right. And you know them damn Sigmas. Shout out to the Sigma. We got about damn 300 Sigmas subscribed to this channel, man. Sigmas always rolling through. So I'm going to get you in a second, Steph. Thank you so, so much. Let me let my man Real Wall rock with the damn, uh, rock with the street sponsor for a second. But I'm going to get you in a second. Thank you so, so much, Real Wall. Thank you. All right, man. Y'all be blessing me so much, man. I'll be get back to it. But thank y'all for shouting out Renoir, man. Excellent, brother. And again, um, keeping our streets safe. I would be lying to you if they if if I told you that, oh yeah, I could be a police officer and I'd go out there at two in the morning. Somebody talking about they robbed a waffle house and they got guns and ski masks. Oh, send the lead. Do not send me. <laughs> I'll be like, where Renoir at? <laughs> Give me that jacked Indian. Like, I am not going out there. They got guns. I'm going the other way. Some people go towards where everybody else is running from. So shout out to our man, Renoir. Excellent, excellent, high value, man. Shout out to our brother. Let's get back to it, man. I don't want a long stroke, y'all. Let's go. But thank you, Renoir. Shout out. Let's go. Oh, and shout out again. Let me just pull this up. Shout out to the beautiful Marie Marie my most consistent supporter of the whole, of the entire channel always blessing your board she don't know if she going to drive the 18 wheel if she going to get in that damn Porsche man we got some high value women up in the damn thing too so shout out to Marie Marie thank you so so much Marie Marie always blessing me all right let's go he was able to give me the address and I was able to send him that that was the only instance where she actually responded to me other than that she never asked have, have you used your position as a police officer officer to intimidate uh, Miss mm-hmm. Castain? No, sir. Uh, not by any means. Uh, every time that the, the second time that I came to the house that I brought the police with me was so she could feel safe. It was, it was not a form of intimidation. How many times did you uh, request assistance from the police to see your son? Only that one additional time. Uh, based on her reaction and how upset she got, 
I, I just, I didn't come back anymore. She denied me that time and she made it very clear that she did not want me to come back. I would not be seeing her. She, I would not be seeing her. <laughs> Shout out to Mama Bear Moments. Thank you, Mama Bear Moments. So many of you guys do this. Y'all get frustrated that you can't see your kid. And do you know what you'll do? You'll call the cops. Sometimes the cops will hang up on you. They'll be like, this is a, this is a civil matter. You need to go to court. Every now and then, they'll send a patrol car out, see what the hell's going on, tell you to move along. This man called the cops, and he is a cop. <laughs> How desperate do you have to be? I mean, let that sink in for a second. He had to, like, y'all call the cops fine. I get it. What else are you supposed to do? He called the cops and he is a cop. That lets you know, like, it doesn't, if you're a man, it doesn't matter what your profession is. And when he called the cops, the cops got there. And do you know what? She still didn't let him see the kid. She still didn't let him see the kid. And he's still a cop. It's not like, oh, well, he did something improper, so they put him on administrative leave. Oh, he did something prop improper, so they fired him. He's sitting there in court in the Zoom hearing with, the, with his uniform on. Right? Guys, it's so tough for men. Right? And, and I, I look Ruslan right in the face, and I say, do you think the system is unfair? And he's like, I don't know. I don't know. Jesus Christ, let's go. So in the last three months, how many times have you seen your son? Once for approximately 10 minutes. In three months? Know. Yes, sir. I did. I wasn't able to hold him. I wasn't able to do anything. She stood there and she held him with the police there. Mm -hmm. And I was only able to rub his foot and try to talk to him. Okay. Is there a particular reason why? Um, I don't want to keep stopping this. Let, let's listen, though. Try to talk to him. I wasn't able to do more. She denied me that time, and she made it very clear that she did not want me to come back. I would not be seeing him. Listen to this. So in the last three months, how many times have you seen him? This is very important, guys. Listen, in the last three months, how many times have you been allowed to see your son? Listen, how many times have you seen your son in the last three months? Your son. Once for approximately 10 minutes. In three months? Know. Yes, sir. I did. I wasn't able to hold him. I wasn't able to do anything. She stood there and she held him with the police there. Mm -hmm. And I was only able to rub his foot and try to talk to him. How many times have you seen your son in the last three months? Once. Were you able to take your son to the park when you saw him that one time? No. Were you able to take him to Chick-fil-A when you saw him that one time? No. Were you able to take him to the mall, get him some clothes, get him some toys? No. But what happened when you saw your son? Were you at least able to hold him? No. Your baby mama just stood there holding your son? Yep. She wouldn't let you hold your son? Nope. And you stood there and the only thing you could do was rub your son's foot <laughs> for 10 minutes. That's your visitation, to rub your son's foot. <laughs> and he's a police officer. Shout out to CNG. What does CNG says? I wouldn't touch those Oreolas, no matter how long the milk is frozen. Jasmine is a light-skinned soccer bus. Man, this is infuriating. Go mom to the blues. <laughs> to the blues? What is it? Blues? Blues? I sound like damn AV now, man. Y'all y'all making me embarrass myself. AV's like, no, those aren't. She's not an AKA. She's an Akka. She's an Akka. She's not an AKA. I'm like, <laughs> Shout out to the blues. <laughs> Y'all know I can't see, man. Thank you so much, CNG. It is rough. We got so many. Shout Everybody put Sigmas in the house, man. Shout out to these things. Sigmas. They are, oh, we got a Sigma invasion up in here. Shout out to the Sigmas, man. Thank you so much, Centennial G. And when he says it's infuriating, that is the exact right word. That is your child, too. 
Half of your DNA is in that child. Half of your chromosomes is in that child. You were the one paying the rent. You were the one paying the mom's uh, Geico. You were the one spending, sent, paying all that and then sending the mom Zelle every month. And she just allows you to rub the sole of your fucking child's foot. Is the system fair? I don't know. What did the white girl come up here and say? Not the not the pearl, the other one. Uh, when I did the collab, she's talking about uh, in in this country, uh, men get men get custody fifty percent of the time. No, fifty men get 50, 50, 50 custody, and then the husband says, "Yeah, if if men want it, they get 50 50. But but look. Right. It's so crazy. Let, let's get back to it, guys. OK, is there a particular reason why um, you haven't been able to see your son? Uh, she wouldn't allow it. She would refuse. I, I offered to meet her. I offered to drive to her. I offered to bring police if she felt unsafe. I her mom asked me to leave my weapon at home because they felt that they were unsafe. I left my weapon in the car. I. I the, I, I did as much as I could to just make it easy for them to allow me to see him, just be around. Now, uh, you're trained to always have your weapon on you, correct? Yes, sir, I am. You, you aren't using it to intimidate uh, anybody, are you? No, sir, not by any means. They weren't even aware that I had the weapon until the police officers came and I told the police officers, hey, I have my weapon on me because I know how we operate and that they were they could take it um one of the officers said that i he didn't even need to take it the other officer i just suggested to him to go ahead and take it just so there's no miscommunication and they took the weapon now during the time that uh you and miss castain lived together did you change diapers yes sir did you uh feed him yes sir bathe him yes sir so if the court uh granted you overnight visitation would you be able to care for um, your son? Absolutely, sir. By yourself? Absolutely. And you also have relatives. Guys, y'all don't know what I just heard. Did y'all hear what I just heard? <laughs> Shout out to Blue Baggins. Blue Baggins always supported your boy. Says, I'm glad I write my own paychecks. My child's mother going to be pissed when she take me to court for child support. Shout out to my man, Blue Baggins. <clears throat> the attorney is like, listen. Would it be okay? Would it be permissible? Would it be possible for the judge to award you overnight visitation? I thought you were supposed to get 50-50. Mm -mm. We do an overnight visitation. One day a week, two days a week. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna get 50-50, right? That's what the white girl said. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right luckily for this man this judge right here this judge is kind of famous on youtube for being super fair let me tell you if we had this judge more judges like this things would be better for men but the attorney forget the judge for a second listen to the attorney the attorney is like would it be okay if your child spent the night with you and watch something else. When the it, watch this, listen. When the attorney asks the father, would it be okay for the child to spend a night, an overnight visit with the the father, the, the child and the father? I want you to watch the mother's reaction. Watch the mother's reaction up there. Let me see if I can blow it up. It's blown up. Let me see if I can blow it up. Watch the mother's reaction to this how we operate and that they were, they could take it. Um, one of the officers said that I, he didn't even need to take it. The other officer, I just suggested to him to go ahead and take it just so there's no miscommunication. And they took the weapon. Now, during the time that uh, you and Miss Castain lived together, did you change diapers? Yes, sir. Did you uh, feed him? Yes, sir. Bathe him? Yes, sir. So watch her reaction. Court, uh, uh, granted you overnight visitation, would you be able to care for um, your son? Absolutely, sir. By yourself? Absolutely. And you look at, look at, look. Who saw the shaking of the head? 
Who saw the rolling of the eyes? Who saw the gnashing of the teeth? She was like, it's his, it's his son. Yes, the son came out of your asshole, but it came out of his ball sack first. You just incubated it, right? <laughs> but when he tries to spend time with, no, he can't, it's impossible. It's impossible. Like, it, you just, is the system fair? Oh, I don't know if it's fair. It looks pretty fair to me. Right? Jesus Christ, let's go. So have relatives in Houston, correct? I do. Uh, that would, could assist you? Yes, I have my sister um, who has three kids of her own. Her husband, uh, they have a nanny. Her husband's a surgeon. They live in the woodlands. Uh, they've already expressed they would come help me. I have my grandmother who helped raise me. I have my father who is retired, um, who would like nothing more than to spend time with his grandson. Um, so you have a safety net? Yes, sir, absolutely. As well as your own uh, ability to take care of your son. Yes, sir. Shout out to Rich now, Turner. You're also asking the court to, uh, uh, in addition to allow you overnight vis visitation with your son, uh, that Miss Castain be ordered to meet you in Baytown. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, just, is that the halfway point? That is the halfway point uh, for us to at least just meet halfway. Once I get off work, I can drive there. She can drive there. It makes it easier on both of us. She and don't want to drive. Question. Did, uh, while you and Miss Castain lived together, did she ever leave you alone with, with Chase? Yes, sir. Um, there were many occasions where she left me alone with Chase to take care of him on my own. Shout out to Would she be gone for exactly an extended, right. period, extended period of time or uh, for like 30 minutes or 45 minutes or so? An extended period of time. Um, there were times where she would go out. She hung out with her friends. She She's, you know. Um, which we agreed on so she could have a break and she left me with him to take care of him, bathe him, feed him, put him to sleep. Were there mm -hmm. any incidents or any problems when you when you uh, cared for him by yourself? No, sir, none at all. Okay. Pass this witness, Judge. Your witness, Ms. Overstreet. I don't have any other questions, Your Honor. The state rest. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> State's rested. Mr. Cole, do you have any rebuttal witnesses? No, Your Honor. Well, needless to say, y'all, I got lots of questions. And this is so a let good me see judge. if I can get right to them. Uh, Miss Castine, I need to ask you. Um, so during the time period that you and Mr. Cost lived together after Jace was born, um, y'all lived together as a couple, right? We were engaged. Okay. And there might have been issues with your own relationship, and that was caused the breakup at some point in time. But during that time period, y'all all lived together with Jace, right? Yes, sir. And I'm assuming that based on what normal average couples do when they live together, there were times when Mr. Cost was left alone with Chase. Is that right? Yes. All right. Now, they may not have been for long periods of time, according to your prior testimony, but he was left alone with the child. Yes. So at some point in time, you felt safe enough with Mr. Cost being alone with Chase that you could leave Jace with Mr. Cost and you could go off and take care of whatever issues you needed to deal with, right? Right. All right. So let me ask you. Uh, Thank you, Ms. Tracy. Castine, during any of that time period that you and Mr. Cost were living together. Tracy, tell your um, daughter to email me. Was Jace ever left alone with Mr. Cost for, say, an entire day? No. Okay. And he was never left alone with Jace for a, a, an entire overnight? No. Okay. But there would be several hours on and off when Mr. Cost wasn't working that you needed to go run errands or spend time with your friends. Yes. Okay. And can I assume, Ms. Castine, that the relationship that took place between you and Mr. Cost, did that take, take place in Houston? Yes. Did y'all meet in Houston? Yes. Were you living in Houston at the time that you and Mr. Cost uh, came together as a couple? Uh, yes. All right. Um, what, what brought you to Beaumont? Why are you or in Jefferson County? Why are you living in Jefferson County now? Because my parents live here. I'm okay. living with the grandparents. And that's fine. And how long have your family lived in Jefferson County? For years, since I was okay. four. Okay. But it would be fair to assume that the relationship that took place between you and Mr. Cost started and ended in Harris County. Yes. Okay. 
Now, there were some issues that happened last year where you and Mr. Koss split up, but then y'all reconciled and y'all and you lived together again with Mr. Koss up until the very early part of March of 2022. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yeah, yes, sorry. That's okay, ma'am. I do it too. I have to be careful. All right, so um, during the, the three months since March until now, uh, has Mr. Koss had any contact with Jace? Um, no. The, okay. Just at one time he came. Let me, let me, and then see, this is this is something that's so important, guys. First of all, let me shout out our man, Steven Taylor, the new, new sponsor of the stream. But again, shout out to my man, Real War, for blessing your boy. You know, Steven Taylor, man, the damn Sigmas. <laughs> I went to UGA for undergrad and law school, man. Sigmas ran the yard. In a lot of places, it'd be, it'd be the damn cues, right? Mm -mm. Not at Georgia. All of our football teams. You know, we in Georgia, we put boys in the NFL every single year, every single year. And they were all Sigmas, man. So shout out to the Sigmas. Everybody put Steven in the chat. Put, put Steven in the chat, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. Thank you for, for Steven is sponsoring the uh, stream that we are watching today. Thank you so much, Steven. Really, really appreciate that, brother. And again, these guys are some of the most valuable streams because I want to explain to you guys what's going to happen when you get in there. You think people people lie every single hearing, every single trial, right? They might be little white lies. I haven't lied in eight years. Okay. Right? What's a little white lie? Well, I felt threatened. That's not a white lie. <laughs> right? But here's here's the point that I wanted to make. The judge is like, wait a minute. So you haven't been allowed to, to see your kid in three months? Who knows why that's important? This is an advanced question, so I'll, I'm not going to expect an answer. But I'm going to let you guys think about it for five seconds. Who knows why this question is so important that the judge is asking? The judge just wants to clarify that you have not seen your child in three months. What is the, what's the judge getting at? Anybody know what the judge is getting at? Uh, Kettle Black is saying alienation. Yeah, the judge sees some alienation. That's not it. Uh, marriage calls of divorces. He's not used to looking after the kid. I mean, that's it. That's it. But here's, here's the point. I didn't, I didn't ask the question right. Marie Marie got it. Here's the thing. The fact that the mom didn't let him see the kid for three months, what does that mean? It means that he's not looking, he's not used to looking after the kid. What does that mean? It means that the kid and him, this is really the answer, guys. It means that they don't have a bond. That's the real answer. So actually, Marie Marie, that's not the, that's not the answer. Because you cannot have a bond with a kid and know how to you know, know how to raise a kid. There's, they don't have a bond. So if they don't have a bond, what is that going to mean for visitation? The judge is planning on giving him less visitation because the kid doesn't have a bond with the father. Here's the question. Why does the kid not have a bond with the father? Is it the father's fault? The same father who was showing up at the house, the same father who was showing up at the house with the police, the same father that just had to rub the sole of his kid's foot for 10 minutes while that day of mom was just, oh, we feel threatened. <laughs> the fact that the, the kid has not bonded with the mom is completely the mom's fault. It's not the kid's fault, certainly not the cop's fault. It's, it's, it's not the, the father's fault. But the fact that there's no bond means that now he has to get less visitation. He's going to get essentially punished for the mom not allowing there to be a bond with the child. I'm telling you, these light-skinned women will do it all the time. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's not a light skin type of thing, man. Dark skin, white women, Asian women. It's just, a, I mean, the system allows them to prevent a bond, to block a bond, 
And then the judge will turn around and say, well, we got to give you less visitation starting off. Why, judge? Because there's no bond. It's not my fault that there's no bond. It is It is not your fault that there's no bond. That's not your fault, sir. But I'm here to serve the best interest of the child. <laughs> Does the mom get punished for blocking my bond? with? The, I'm here to serve the best interest of the child. So sit down. Every mother in this country can block a bond with the father and there will be no punishment, especially when the child is young. Who thinks this lady's going to get punished for blocking the bond? Is the system fair? I don't know. It could be, lead attorney. I'm looking at the, what did that fucker tell me? I'm looking at the stats. I'm looking at the stats, the lead attorney. I see numbers. I. He's a man of Christ. One time that he came with the police and he got to spend a few minutes with Chase. Yeah. Miss Castain, Miss Castain, you're under oath. I need to ask you. Um, did you do anything? in the last 90 days to prohibit Mr. Cost from spending the time with Chase? I just asked uh, my- uh... Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> oh, I mean, right there, an attorney, the judge we, is right there. Right there. Right? Uh... <laughs> Lead, you know, uh, a couple of us saw you walking on the yard and you were walking with that white girl. Like, did you have sex with that white girl? Um, uh, goddamn, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I did. Well, it would just, oh, oh, <laughs> I mean, we right? I mean, uh, I, got, I mean, it was, uh, that's all I need to hear. If you got a good ear, I don't even need to hear the rest. That's all I need to hear. Right? I mean, it's, it's so telling, guys. It's, I've, 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 I've handled this case like a thousand times. I, I could hear it. Right? Be careful. All right. So um, during the, the three months since March until now, uh, has Mr. Koss had any contact with Jace? um no the, okay. just one time he came and the one time that he came with the police and he got to spend a few minutes with jace yeah miss castain miss we... castain you're under oath i need to ask you um did you do anything did you hear what he said right there too guys did you hear what he said right before he asked the question he's never said that he only asked this he only says this one time in the whole hearing one time what did he say did y'all hear what he said He's let her lie all through this hearing, but he's got, for this question, he's let her lie. This is a cool judge. This guy, this judge is awesome. I'm going to start reviewing more. This is, all this stuff is awesome. He's let her lie and lie and lie. He hasn't said a peep. But for this one question, he says, hey, I need to make this a little formal. This is a different question. So just, you know, remember you're under oath. Shout out. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. You're under oath. And that's what started it, the, the, right? Right, y'all heard it. Shout out, y'all got a good ear, man. I'm gonna train y'all up. I'm gonna train y'all up. Let's 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 go back. Let's go. No, the, okay. just the one time he came. And the one time that he came with the police, and he got to spend a few minutes with Chase. Yeah. Here we go. Miss Castain, Miss Castain, you're under oath. I need to ask you. Um, did you do anything in the last ninety days to prohibit? Mr. Cost from spending the time with Chase? I just asked uh, uh, my, uh, uh, my attorney uh, what I should do. I your attorney? Me. You have an attorney? I spoke to the child support uh, secretary through the system what I should do. I asked for help because he was being very... Okay, I, that's, not my, that's not my question, Ms. Castan. Do well, you have I, a lawyer? I'm you, telling you, I'm just telling I, I know, you. but I, see, here's the thing. I just want you to answer my question, okay? I, I've got a, a pretty good idea of where this is going, but I'm just trying to get some specifics. 
But the fact that you mention a lawyer now throws a little wrench in this, and I need to make sure I'm on the right track. Do you have an attorney, Miss Castile? It was the attorney through the child support system. I thought uh, that, yes. Uh, they don't right. represent you, Miss Castile. Yeah. I know. Yeah they, yeah. yeah, they only represent the state. So you don't, you haven't hired or paid an attorney. No. Okay. okay. And just again, guys, again, these women, they don't have to pay one cent to get the child support. The father has had to pay this attorney, this Richard Cole Jr. Uh, sorry, Richard Cole the third. Excellent. That did excellent work in this hearing. The father had to pay this man cash to 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 defend him. But the Jasmine lady doesn't have to have one cent. They don't have to pay one cent for the state to come in and take up her case to get the child support. Let's go. Okay. So it. Are you trying to tell me, Ms. Castine, that someone from the AG's office told you that you should not allow Mr. Cost to spend time with his son? They told me I didn't have to open the door because- Okay, okay, all right. Because of the manner he was coming in. Um, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Ms. Castine, for your for your answers, okay? To judge, to be honest, the judge kind of let her off the hook right there. Because what did, what did she say? She was like, well, you know, I called up there to child support and child support said that I didn't have to answer, and I didn't have to answer the door. The judge says, okay, that's, okay, fine, fine. But the judge could have asked the next question. She's like, listen, apart from that one time, apart from that one time, did you ever allow the father to see his child. Why didn't the judge ask that question? Does anybody know why the judge, and this is a very experienced judge, why didn't the judge ask that next question? I'll tell you why. He already knew the answer. He already knew the answer, right? He already knew. This lady is not allowing this man to see the father, to, to, to see his child. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, I, well, a couple other things real quick. So you said that he did help you with the child, that he did pay you some money. During the time periods that he paid you this money, was that also at the same time that y'all were living together? Or was this time when y'all were not living together is when he sent you this money? He sent money in April. Okay. And once in, I want to say it was either March. Okay. It was like hundred. So it was after y'all, after y'all split up the last time. Yeah. He okay. just sent payments. That was it. That's fine. I'm just trying to narrow down when it was the, the, the stuff, because it was kind of general. And I got confused as far as when that Shout was. out to J.S. Right. Hooper. So, Ms. Castaigne. Hold on right quick. Let me just say, shout out to J.S. Hooper. Also, shout out to Tracy. Guys, put some respect on my name, please. There's 3,000 people in here. Can y'all hit the like button a little bit? <laughs> shout out to y'all. Thank you so much. Let's go. I understand that at some point in time during this hearing, I'm going to give Mr. Cost specific visitation rights. You understand? Yes. Um, okay. I was waiting for... Uh, an earlier court date to talk about the visitation uh, right. because I had certain stipulations because he was being very aggressive and uh, manipulative okay. in that process and you know our court date got further along and now we're here and the situation right. has gotten more intense right so um but you I mean you do understand that I'm, I'm going to give Mr. Costin visitation right Yes. Okay. So I, I have no problem with him visitating. I just wanted to be protected by the court because visitating <laughs> his sure. rash behavior. I get it. I, don't, understand. I don't trust, you know, his actions. I don't know what he's going to do. He's a right. police officer. You just want to make sure, Miss Castine, that it's something in writing so that there's you're both protected. Yes. I will tell you, I've been practicing 20 years. I have never heard anybody say that they don't have a problem with him visitating. <laughs> I'm going to use that. Oh, I'm going to use that to visit. Y'all watch. I'm slipping that in. Falls. Okay. And um, I wanted him to wait, and he didn't want to wait. Well, that's fine. I, I, if I was him, I wouldn't want to wait either. Facts. But I do. Facts. Understand. Yes. Yes. What did this, what did the, what did the, the woman say? 
The woman was like, well, you know, I didn't let him see the kid, but I wanted him to wait. And he didn't want to wait. I wanted him to wait to see my kid, but he didn't want to wait. What the judge say? She said, I wouldn't want to wait either. Motherfucker. It's my kid. You don't have to wait. Why do I have to wait? Is the system fair? I don't know. The fucking judge just said, why should he have to wait? <laughs> you guys, I swear to God. Shout out to Rio Bravado Network. Thank you. Said Lee, there's another one from this judge where the judge cooks the mother at the end. I'll send it to you. Yeah, y'all have been sending me these things. I already got two. Y'all have been, this is the third one y'all have sent me. This judge is on it, man. This judge is, is on it. The only, the only reason I haven't done the other ones, because in the other ones, the father wasn't in there. The father, you couldn't see, you could hear the father, but you couldn't see him. But this one is, this one, you can actually see the father. He's down there. But y'all are, y'all are, y'all are sending me these. So thank you so much. Yeah. And keep sending them, keep sending them. Y'all are helping me out. Shout out to Darius Horton. Thank you. Said, please, please, please tell me you let DS, you, you'll let DS break down this video. Who is DS? Much needed uh, to hear from men like you. Yeah, man, I'm talking, to, I'm trying to do something with the fees. He, ducking and dodging and weaving. I sent him a DM. You think he responded? Ruslan, that Ruslan dude said he was going to DM, DM him. They're, they're best buddies. They're friends. Has Ruslan got back to me? Oh, yeah, if he feast wants to do it. So shout out to Darius, man. Yeah. I, Shout out to Strategic uh, Career Building with Dr. Pat. Shout out to Strategic Career Building. What's he say? So many of these Panda Bear content creators have a vested interest in being intellectually dishonest. At least we have the lead telling us the unbiased truth. I'm trying out here, man. I am trying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Strategic Career Building with Dr. Pat. If one of the mods could drop my man's link in the channel of the chat. Thank you so much. Also, the Real Bravado Network again says she tries to say, I can't read. She tires to say him being a cop, tries to say him making a cop made him unsafe to be around. But she had a whole baby with the uns. Woo! Woo! This is what I said. Some of y'all are good. Let me read it. Let me read it. She tries to say him being a cop makes him unsafe to be around. And yet, she had a whole baby, unmarried, with an unsafe cop. Shout out to Real Bravado Network. I, that's the comment right there. That is the comment. Absolutely. Oh, she got the legs splayed wide open. She on her hands and knees, bending her damn butt cheeks open. Oh, she could bend the butt cheeks open, right? But now, all of a sudden, when he tries to see his kid, he's unsafe. Right. Shout out to Real Bravado. That, that that might be. The, I'm gonna start doing the comment of the night. That's the damn comment of the night right there. I'm. I'm a, shout out to Real Bravado Network. He is the first comment of the night person elect that we have ever done. That's the comment of the night. <laughs> I love it, guys. Shout out to Marriage Calls Divorces. This judge watches the lead attorney. You know, yeah, this judge is good, man. Thank you so much, Marriage Council. Well, shout out to Baggy Substitute Teacher. Says, take it from a boy, Bob. You will need a dad. 100%. 100%, man. Somebody keep these damn kids in line. You are exactly right. Let me get a couple more here. Uh, let me get a couple more. Mm, oh, my God. Y'all blessing your boy. And look who gave it. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. The real bravado network first. First, he becomes the first annual uh top comment lever. And then he says, that's right, team petty R B N new stream sponsor. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Your boy got you beat, right? Because your boy put in 200, right? So I think he might got you beat a little bit, but Thank you, thank you, thank you, Real Bravado Network, man. Really, really appreciate it. And that comment was fire. And this 
this amount of support that you're showing me, ma'am, cannot tell you how appreciative and grateful I am to all you guys. You know, it's a lot of people. There's stuff I want to say about other content creators, but I don't want it to come off hating. All I'm, let me just stay my stay in my lane and just say that I'm really trying to provide you guys with valuable information. You know, I'm trying to be entertaining, but I'm trying to slide in some knowledge. I'm trying to slide in some points. I'm trying to slide in some learnings. If I would have had me back when I was 28, I went and got married to that girl. I wouldn't have. You know, hair down to her little fucking B cups and the fucking rump and the athletic thighs and she's running all over the place, dancing all over the place, small waist. I, but there were, you know, I didn't, I was looking at the physical. 23, 22 years old, damn. But I didn't have a, a 45 year old grizzled attorney to tell me to look deeper. So I really do try to give you guys some game. And, you know, the good thing is that the majority of you guys have been there and done that, man. Y'all like, man, we're going to support you to help you get this message out to these young ones. And we got some young ones. We got some fucking moose locks. We got some ants. We got some before the billions. These Everybody but moose locks is listening. Moose locks ain't listening. But we are helping people one person at a time. Even Ruslan. Ruslan came up. Ruslan like, well, you're changing my mind about this. And you're changing my mind about that. Right. So we're, we're over here making a difference, even though we don't have a million subs. Shout out to my girl, just pearly things, man. But we're over here trying. But the way y'all support me, man, I swear to God, like. Y'all just don't know. Y'all don't know how much it means to me. Like, I never knew I would be here with you guys, you know, just two years ago and getting this type of love and support. It just never. Never, 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 especially because, you know, talking about stuff like this, if I'm going to be honest, mm, giving you insights, telling you how judges feel about certain things, like people pay $600, $1,000, $500 an hour, but I give it to, I, give, I can give it to you for free. It doesn't cost me anything to give it to you. It's so easy for me just to give it to you. It did cost me, though, my entire adult life to learn it. This is all I know. This is all I've ever done. And so when I give this to you guys, and it's cost me my entire adult life to get it, when y'all guys break me off, man, and y'all just support your boy, show me so much encouragement, cannot tell you how that feels. Because I'll be honest, I mean, this is a lot of money, and y'all don't have to give me a dime, man. Y'all don't shout out to Raven. She, you know, she'll give me a dollar. She ain't have to give me that, man. So thank you, Real Bravado Network. Thank you, they have Steve Taylor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Renoir. Thank you to everybody, guys. All of y'all, all the stream sponsors, all the way down to Raven with her one dollar. Muchas gracias, Raven. La verdad. <laughs> El corazón. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Y'all just don't know how y'all make a nigga feel. All right, let's get back to it, man. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up right quick. Stand your position. So, um, do you believe that Jace is ready to go overnight with Mr. Cost? No. Of course okay. not. And why is that? Because he's teething and he's very hard to handle right now. Um, he hasn't been around him long enough. I feel like if he got used to him for a little bit before he, he hasn't been around him long enough he hasn't been around him long enough judge i don't think he's ready to be with his father because he hasn't been around long enough the father hasn't been around one long enough what's the next question the ne i don't think he's bonded with the father your honor i don't think he's been around the child long enough. What's the next question? <laughs> exactly, Rich Turner. Rich Turner put one fucking letter, just one letter. 
I don't need a whole dissertation. I don't need a whole report. I just need one letter. <laughs> Shut out the rich turner. God damn. Man, y'all killing it today in the chat. Y'all, everybody put Y in the chat. Shout out to Rich Turner. Everybody put one one letter. Everybody put the letter Y. Capitalize that shit. Don't get lazy either. Everybody put a capital letter Y in the chat. Why is it that he's not bonded with the goddamn child? And shout out to these damn light skinned women. Boy, you think you. Our man John thought he hit a lick. Oh, he thought he was rocking and rolling with the white. <laughs> She's not even white. Let me, let me stop. Actually, listen, listen. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. Jasmine, there's a good chance you might see this. <laughs> None of this is, is personal against you. We don't know each other. We see what you're doing, but this isn't to attack you. Guys, do not go out and attack Jasmine. Lord knows she's on the internet. <laughs> Look at her. She's beautiful. So guys, listen, let me just say, let me, let me stop for a second. Let me be honest. Don't, don't, don't write Jasmine. Don't, don't attack Jasmine. Leave Jasmine alone. All right. Shout out to Jasmine. But God damn, Jasmine, you, you are not. <laughs> you, uh, just. Right. And shout out. And let me put some respect on our on our brother's name. Shout out to John. What's his name? John Cross. I can't really see his name. Shout out to John, man. <laughs> shout out to John. Uh, just a bl young black man, an officer, excellent profession, just trying to see his goddamn kid. Right. So, uh, mother, you know, just quick question. Do you think do you think John is ready to 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 to, to be with his child overnight? I don't think so, Judge. He's not bonded. Judge, like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's go, let's go, let's go. You can stay overnight. I just okay. don't feel that comfortable yet. Okay. I just don't feel that comfortable yet. Let's go. Well, always remember, Miss Costan. Uh, no matter what you think, it's not about your comfort. Facts. Well, I'm I'm thinking of Jace. Okay. But you said it's about your comfort, and it's not about your comfort. Guys, listen, this is why we attorneys, man, judges are attorneys. Y'all will never get us. Everybody's like, oh, lead, you should debate this person or debate that person. We got a good ear. You can never beat the one good ear. She said, I just don't feel that comfortable. The judge snapped her ass off. It's not about you feeling that comfortable. And then she tried, what did she do? She did what y'all fuckers do. You try to backslide it. No, 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 I meant Jace. She said, That's not what you said. You didn't say Jace wouldn't feel that comfortable. You said that you wouldn't feel that comfortable. Snap that light-skinned girl straight off. <laughs> I love it. Let's watch it right quick. Okay. And why is that? Because he's teething and he's very hard. He got used to him for a little bit before he can stay overnight. I just okay. don't feel that comfortable yet. Okay. Well, always remember, Miss Costan, uh, no matter what you think, it's not about your comfort. Well, I'm I'm thinking of Jace. Okay. But you said it's about your but comfort. You and it's not about your comfort. It's about well, Jace's comfort. Someone, someone has to speak for Jace. No, no ma'am. That, that's where you're wrong. That's my job. Okay. Now, the state of Texas pays me to make sure that I do things that what I think are in the best interest of the child. That's me. See, okay. the problem that I have, ma'am, is that. Um, with the and let me just jump in, too, because the judge, you know, this is the best judge ever. This, You know, she said, well, what did the mom say? Someone has to think about Jace. And the father's like, shout out to this father. It's so hard. I know you can tell this guy is a cop. You could tell he's he's trained. He's got a lot of discipline because y'all would have been. I represented so many of y'all, y'all screaming out in court, listening to this bullshit. It's so hard to hear the mother saying someone has to think about Jace when you've been trying to see Jace every single day. To listen to someone talk about your own child like that, like you just a deadbeat. Through this testimony, I'm not sure that I'm really getting to the bottom of what's going on here, but I'm going to do the best I can, okay? Okay. Well, I have videos and um, videos of what? 
um, him going on social media and, you know, threatening me with constables and I have other information. It's just, you know, I, I just wanted to be here. Ms. Castan, for whatever reason, you made the decision through either through some help from some other parties or just on your own that Mr. She said she had the nerve to say that he went on social media and threatened her with police and court action. I'm scared, Your Honor. Why are you scared? He threatened me. He threatened you? Yes, he threatened me and made me feel unsafe. Oh my God, what did he do? He said he was gonna get the police and the court system involved. I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my God. Hoss was gonna be denied his rights as a father, okay? I I understand, but you did because you decided. Wait, wait, this is important. This is important. This is important. And for whatever reason, you made the decision through either through some help from some other parties or just you made the decision. Wait, let me back through up. Either through okay, well, I have video. Okay, let me back up because this is this is important. This is a good this is a good part right here. Let's go. It's constables and I have other information. It's just, you know. Everybody I, listen up. I just wanted well, to be here. Ms. Castine, for whatever reason. You made the decision through either through some help from some other parties or just on your own that Mr. Koss was going to be denied his rights as a father. Wow. Okay? I understand, but you did because you decided that you yourself were going to stop him or prohibit him from visiting with his son. And I understand why you did it because you didn't have a court order in place to protect you. But there's consequences to that. Okay. Okay. All right. Mr. Koss, I have some questions for you. Yes, sir. All right. So you're telling me, and the, because there is one thing that Ms. Castine brought up that I am concerned about. You're telling me that the weapon that you had in your house that got close to Jace was in a locked case. Yes, sir. All right. There weren't any bullets? Correct. The gun wasn't loaded? Correct. All right. Did it have a lock on it? No, sir. It's buckles. Okay. Did you have a trigger lock on it? No, sir. There's no cartridge. There's no the the magazine. I, I, don't, I don't care about that, Mr. Call. Okay, no, sir. There's no trigger lock on. You don't you don't have any weapon. I don't care what it is. The most dangerous weapon in the world is an unloaded weapon. You know that. Yes, sir. I agree with you. No, sir. No trigger lock. No. Trigger locks. Also. Yes, sir. In your home, when you okay. have children present, trigger lock. They're required. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Tracy. You're not working at this time, Miss Castine. I'm incapable. I've been taking care of my son. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait. wait. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? <laughs> uh, are, are are you working at this time, Miss Chastain? I'm incapable, Your Honor. Why are you incapable of working? I'm taking care of my son. I'm a mother, Your Honor. I'm a mother. <laughs> You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. Shout out to Legally Antoine says, I'm broke as hell, but salute TLA for content like this. TLA child support content made an impact in my own personal bond with my child. Is seeing your child more important than eating out? Oh, did I ask you that? <laughs> Listen, thank you so much, Legally and Tom for saying this, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, the the super chat is a blessing, but the comment is a blessing as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see if I can get it. She said, uh, <laughs> she said that I am incapable. I used to do workers' comp back in the day when I practiced door law. I did workers' comp. I've met some people. Y'all know workers' compensation. I've met some people who were incapable of working based on catastrophic accidents. She says she's incapable because she got to take care of her child. Shout out to William. Shout out to William. Says 50-50 is never given. Damn, dear. Uh, chose, whoa. 
self deletion due to family court. I wish I could have come on when that one dude was saying all that crap about 50 50, but he and many others truly don't understand. Well, I'm glad that you did not do that. The first part, well, I'm glad you are still here. Uh, you are exactly right. People just either they're ignorant or they just don't care. They're absolutely wrong. And it will drive men crazy. Right. And, and men do things that are uh, extreme and everybody blames the men when the woman is like, well, yeah, I didn't let him bond with the child. Right. And, and the moms are fine. You know, you never see a mom self deleting because she denied the bond. No, she's cool. It's always the dads. Always the fucking dads. So shout out to William. Thank you, William. Shout out to Maggie, the substitute teacher. What does Maggie say? For the muscle eyes that don't want to wait. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out. <laughs> shout out to uh, Maggie, the substitute teacher. Excellent, guys. Excellent content creator. One of the best. If you are into cooking at all or construction, y'all go check out Maggie, the substitute teacher. If one of the mods could drop the link to her channel in the chat. Um, one of the best live streamers to currently do it. No one really works harder than her on these live streams. She goes live like twice a day, killing the game, killing the algorithm. I'm subscribed to her. Y'all go join her lives. She is amazing. And a Georgia dog, just like your boy, right? Shout out to Maggie, the substitute teacher. Shout out to Centennial G. What does Centennial G says? Visit, <laughs> visit, <laughs> Visitating, I can't even say it. Visitating, right? Uh, holsters dictionary visits allowed when the mother is ovulating and the father is coerced, uh, responsible to engage in coitus to see their fucking kids straight up. Yo. All right, <laughs> shout out to our man, said Teddy OJ. You are exactly right, man. The way that they play us dangling these kids in front of our faces, our own kids. My man, the one time he saw his child, the one time he was allowed to see his child in three months, he had to stand there while the mother held the child and just rubbed the sole of his child's foot. That was his visitation. His visitation was rubbing the bottom of his, his his own child's foot. If mothers had to go through what we what we go through, they would not survive. I don't know what to tell you. They wouldn't survive. There's no mother that can really love her child and just have the father have all the rights and she just got to stand there for 10 minutes. You don't think she'd be calling the cops and Donald Trump and whoever else. This guy calls the cops. He is a cop. He is a cop. And it's even no help. Even the damn judge says you were blocking the bond. You were, you were blocking his ability to see his child. Is she going to get locked up for that? The judge said that she was blocking the relationship between the child and the father. Is she going to have, a, have to pay a fine for that? Is she going to have to do community service for that? Is she going to have to go to parenting classes for that? She ain't got to do a goddamn thing. The only thing that she's going to get, do you know what she's going to get? Is she going to get, is she going to get a fine? No. Is she going to get prison time? No. Jail time? No. Community service? No. Probation? No. Well, Jesus Christ, what is she going to get? Oh, <laughs> She's going to get child support. Oh, she's going to get child support. That's what she's going to get. That's what she's going to get. For blocking the bond, for interfering with the relationship between the, 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 the child and the father, her, her punishment is child support. I asked the wrestling dude, is the system fair? He looked at me and said, I don't know. <laughs> you don't get off my goddamn. <laughs> Shout out to Fast Food Diaries. Thank you so much, Fast Food Diaries. Says, we appreciate you. Thank you, man. I am trying. Guys, listen, no more super chats. No more super chats. I'm going to read them all, but I kind of get, I got to get out of here pretty soon. I, Jesus, it's already so late. Let's let's play a little bit. Let's let's cut to the chase. Let's cut to the chase. Stay at home. All right. And that's okay. What's going to happen? What's going to sure. happen? 
that Ms. Castine gets a copy of the policy? You know, when he doesn't get his way, he tends to threat. He tends to be petty and, and boast and do those types of things. That's okay. my Did y'all hear that? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't even watching. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. Let me back up. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do many things at once. We'll share with you. It has to be okay. something that you self, you yourself know about personally. But I understand. Okay. It's just, you know, when he doesn't get his way, he tends to threat. He tends to be petty. And The first thing that comes out of so many of these women's mouths is threaten. I felt unsafe. He tends to, th when he doesn't get his way, he threatens. And the judge is like, and he's like, well, he's petty. <laughs> you want to talk about night and day? You want to talk, listen to this, you want to talk about night and day? He threatened me, your honor. What did he do? He was petty. He was petty. Man, I don't know. I mean, do only light-skinned women get away with this? I mean, I can't, I don't know. It's like, ah, and her reward. What is the reward going to be? Of course, it's going to be child support. Shout out to NS. Thank you so, so much, NS. Thank you. What does NS say? I appreciate all that you do. Thank you, bruh. Thank you, broham. Thank you, NS. This is super generous of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I'm trying to, you know, be up here. I'm trying to do these damn shorts and clips. I'm trying to make it as a YouTuber. But there's a part of me that just wants to do this, man. Just wants to put you guys on game. And y'all appreciate it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Really, really appreciate this. Shout out to NS. Super, super generous of you. Thank you, NS. Thank you. God. Y'all be showing your boys so much love and encouragement. Shout out to Tracy says, Jasmine, I, right. she is not smart. Judge Kessner, yeah, the judge is, the judge is tracking her down. I mean, when you've been doing this long enough, man, and y'all see how I do people, like you just do, if you do this over 15 years, you got it. Shout out to marriage cause of divorces, poor kid, absolutely. Because, you know, the judge is saying, and this is a, such a great point, you know, the judge is saying that he's supposed to be, the judge is supposed to take care of the best interest of the child. Everybody knows that it's in the best interest of the child to have a good relationship with a good father. But you got a good father, but you don't have a good relationship between the father and the child. Why? Because the mother is blocking the relationship. The mother is prohibiting something that is beneficial to the child. What's her punishment? Child support. That's what she gets. Shout out to Bot Chad says, more like Judge Dubster. Yeah, man. This, ju this judge be wilding out sometimes. He's good. He's fair. He's super, super fair. Shout out to Wrench Turner says, when a country judge says, the state of, <laughs> I like that. I've never seen that. When the state of Texas, yeah, he about to pan fry somebody. The state of Texas. I like that. I like that. Shout out to my very Wrench Turner. The state of Texas. That was a good one. Marriage calls divorce. It says, I hope all dads show this to their grown sons. This is reality for so many men around the world. You wouldn't believe it until you see it with your actual eyes. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Shout out to Tracy. It says, I went back to work when all my kids was two weeks. Yes, 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 yes. Shout out to Akita G, man. You know, everybody's trying to plug in to Akita G. <laughs> Shout out to Kita G. What does Kita G say? A healthy child made you incapable of working. I've heard it all. We really need to do a better job of vetting the maturity level of these people we date because issues will come up even in the best relationship. So true. I mean, just look at her. I know what our man was evaluating. And, you know, Jasmine is a real person. You know, there's an audition to her on YouTube. Like, she's for real. So I get it, man. A police officer, you know, the police officer, I mean, what is he making? They said he was making uh, 60000 a year, 64000 a year. 
So you getting a person that's going to auditions and stuff and you a cop making 64,000, all these women talking around, they want a man making 200,000, you making 60 and you come up on something like this. I get it. But look, look where you're at with it. Right. So key to G is, is right, man. We just got to look deeper. Right. It can't be all about the damn areolas. I know, man. I know. Right. But mm. so thank you so much, key to G. Excellent, excellent attorney herself. Always trying to get her to come up here. She'll never want to come, man. <laughs> Shout out to KDRG. Thank you so, so much, Kita G, my co counsel. Excellent, excellent attorney. Thank you to AAB. Uh, thank you as well. All right, let's 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 put a bow on this. Let's see what we got. No more super chats, please. No more super chats. Let's go. And boast and do those types of things. That's okay. my concern. That is my oh. concern. What's her so, concern? When he doesn't get his way, he tends to threat. He tends to be petty and, and boast and do those types. Just to put a bun on it. He says when he's when he doesn't get away, he threatens. He threatens. Really? Oh, well, he's petty and boastful. He's petty and boastful. Who's petty and boastful? Me! I'm petty and boastful. Does that mean I'm threatening? I mean... Maybe Hafiz might. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, maybe I am threatening. Maybe I am threatening. Let's go. Thanks. That's okay. my concern. That is my oh. concern. Hafiz is concerned about the threats. Let's see what this judge is going to do. You know, the only real issue that I have in this case, y'all, is how I'm going to how we're going to exchange the child. Um, Shout out to J.S. Because the rest of this is actually pretty straightforward. Despite what the parents have said and think, uh, the issue in this case is not so much about whether or not Mr. Cost is a good dad. I think he is a good dad. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Um, the issue in this case is the fact that he hasn't had contact with the child for, for three months. Oh, did y'all right. hear that? Did y'all hear that? What's the issue with the case? What's the issue with the case? Come on, man. That's the issue. He hasn't seen his child in three months. That's the issue. Right? Right? Guys, you can't make this up. I hope you guys are seeing how this goes. You cannot make it up. And while that's not Mr. Costa's fault, um, it is something that I have to be concerned about for Jace. Um, it's not his fault. So I, I hope y'all believe that, that there's probably going to have to be some phased in visitation in this case. Uh, the fact that Mr. Cost, Mr. Cost doesn't have any other children and the fact that he's never been alone overnight with, with Jace, um, there, there just needs to be some kind of reconciliation there but my concern is is that the relationship between mr Koss and miss castine occurred in harris county and the relationship took place there the child was probably born there they lived together there and it wasn't until this case got before me because miss castine moved to jefferson county and i understand that this is where her her base is her family is here um but i'm not sure that I should have to force Mr. Cost to do all of the driving back and forth to see Jace if, um, since the relationship and, and everything else took place in Harris County. Miss uh, Castine, let me ask you, um, I have a pretty good idea what I'm gonna do with the child support on this case. Um, I can do one of two things. I can adjust the child support and make Mr. Cost do all the driving, or you guys can meet, uh, meet halfway. What is he talking about? Listen, when two, this is super common, two parents live, uh, one parent moves and they move far away from each other, right? The judge has already said he's not going to, he's going to be nowhere near 50-50 for right now because he doesn't have a bond with the child, right? But what the judge is trying to figure out is you guys live far away right now. So here's what I can do. Y'all can meet halfway or I can reduce the amount of child support and then he'll do all the driving. So do you want him to do all the driving and reduce the amount of child support or or do you want to drive and meet him halfway? What do you think she said? Anybody want to guess? Did she want to receive less money on the child support and and make him drive or did she want to keep the child support the same, keep the elevated amount? And then she was going to do the driving herself. I don't know. Let's see what she said. Maybe she'll surprise us. 
I can adjust the child support and make Mr. Cost do all the driving, or you guys can meet uh, meet halfway. Which would you prefer me to do? Meet halfway. Oh, <laughs> she wants to meet halfway. That's she wants to meet halfway. Driving in Grove. Oh the my okay. God! <laughs> what part of Houston do you live in, Mr. Cost? In the Heights. Okay. Shout out to BLJ. Well, when I think of the Heights, I think of uh, the eastern portion of Harris County. Am I correct? All right. So they're just working. Let's see. Let's see what Heights the judge does. Cost. Okay. But it was in the Groves. Judge, there. Are you talking about that shell? I believe that it is in Jace's best interest to name the parties as joint managed conservators of the child. With Miss Castine as the primary custodian. Miss Castine gets primary custody of the child. I thought it was 50 50. I thought it was 50 50. I thought all oh, guys were getting 50 50, even from good judges. Guys, this is a good judge. Who gets primary? Does any. Has anybody seen any evidence that the lady is so much better than the man? That this woman who is unemployed should get primary custody over this child? Is she so much of a better parent? She's blocked his relationship with the child, not allowed, not allowed the father to see the child, has lied 15, 11, 35 times in this hearing, and she still gets primary custody of the child. Let me give a big shout out to Shirley Reed. Thank you so much, Shirley Reed. $26 on the cash app. Thank you. Shout out to Solomon Kennard for the dollar worth of Bitcoin. Thank you as well. Um, guys, this is so tough. I also want to thank two important people. And listen up, guys. I want to thank you. Um, I want to thank you. Uh, Michael R. Thank you, Michael R. for buying the course. Michael R. just bought the course. This is the last day for these Christmas, uh, this Christmas discount codes. If you want to buy the course, YouTube course, y'all see how much money I make. If y'all want to see how much money I make doing this, click the link that says, see how much money the, you, the lead attorney makes. I'm super transparent with you guys. If y'all want to see how much I make doing this stuff, if you think this is a possibility for you, I have a course. I just took a course on podcasting. It was a $2,000 course. It was not good. It was like three hours. My course is nowhere near $2,000. And especially if you use the discount code, my course is 18 hours long. 18 hours. Everybody's like, you need to raise the price up. I'm going to raise the fucking price. Um, the course is super, super cheap for 18 hours. I put the whole thing in your mouth. All right. Shout out to Jasmine. Listen, so the discount codes, so shout out to... Um, to Michael R for buying the uh, course, guys. Uh, if you want to make some changes in your life, if you are 35 or older, I'm 35 and older, and I thought YouTube could work for me. YouTube has been the best, the best thing to happen to me in my life. It's the best decision I've ever made. I had no idea you could get this money from the comforts of your home and just tell people what you know. Just turn on the camera and tell people what you know. Now, it took me a year before I even figured things out. Um, don't be like me, invest in yourself, save yourself a year, learn how to do this and get up and running quick. All right. I want to thank, uh, I got to get out of here cause I have the mastermind right now. I want to give a big thank you to real bravado network. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also a huge shout out as well to Renoir and to the stream sponsor, to the stream sponsor. Y'all see Steven Taylor. God damn. Thank you so, so much, Stephen Taylor. Really, really appreciate you sponsoring this stream. And this has been a very important stream, I think, very informational. So you guys can really see, even when a judge calls out the BS, he still, you know, the mom still gets primary custody. 
The guy still gets a visitation. The woman lied all through the court hearing and the judge knew it and the judge called her out on it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, right? I'm explaining all this to you. None of this has been legal advice. I am not your attorney. I am the lead attorney and I'm here to help you lawyer 